So right now we'll be seeing what Tatsumi's first mission is in Akami. So I was reading the manga and all that and just had a look, you know, where the chapter was going. And I noticed that they missed out quite a bit of chapter two, really. It's like they got the half part of it, like they got half the chapter in and then they just decided to cover chapter three for some reason. So the material we're going with is like, what, one and a half chapters? So... I don't know if we're ever going to come back to that in an OVA or something, because that was kind of important. That kind of gave everyone some, you know, information about some characters and stuff. So I'm wondering what's going to happen with that, if we're going to see that again. I don't know why they just cut it out, but okay, we go with it. But it's like, definitely with this episode, from the first thing we see, it's like, we see Tatsumi, he's officially joining the night race. Like, yeah, um, oh, your warriors of justice, and you know, but you're part of the revolutions, and they just couldn't help but laugh. It's like, in the end of the day, we're murderers. Like, we're cold hard killers, like Tatsumi. We're not fucking justice. We're not doing this to the justice or anything. So, I've got like ulterior motives and shit like that. It's like, yeah, we want to say we hate the corruption in the place, but it's like, <laughs> we're not here for justice. That's definitely not that thing. It's like, definitely seeing, you know, and so all of the characters, you know, part of the night, we see the boss, we do Bullas, you know, I'm trying to use the, the new names and all that, because it's like, the, I'm used to the manga calling completely different, Lubak, you know, Akame, Mine, like, there's a lot of people we see already, Shere, like, we see all of them from the start, and we already know that they're pretty badass, but we didn't get to see t uh, at all what they could do this chapter, uh, which I was really disappointed in, but since, like, Tatsumi's first target that he gets, his first assassination, is that this the target known as Ogre, this corrupt warrior, you know, he trains people, he does like a lot of shady shit right back and like he even black uh, mailed this uh, like this woman's fiance and killed him and actually she had to sell her own body pretty much. She had to sell her body out on the streets, had to become a prostitute just so she could make the money, just so she could get revenge for her fiance and for herself. And I was like Akame is just already showing right now that it's a fucked up world. It is a fucked up world. like people have to do that kind of shit just to make sure that they want revenge, something like that, just to get an assassination out there. It's like, we see already from Tatsumi, like, they already had some plans, they're already in the city, and it's like, yeah, Akami was being awfully cold to him, saying, like, you know, oh, you know, he's just gonna get killed and stuff like that, and it's like, you see, like, Tatsumi trying to go, like, he, he took out fucking Ogre like a motherfucker, he was there playing all the tricks, he was like, please let me in the army, and he's like, pulling slashes on him, and he's like, oh, I took the guy down, no problem, that, that one slash, and it's like, nope, got back up, and then tires me, fucking gets straight up, back up, and fucking slices both his arms off, that is how you fucking send a message right there, it's like, tires me, he's already making himself mad, because he's already strong as it is, he's already, you know, he can find stuff like dragons and stuff like that, he's already pretty powerful as nice as it is, and now, Night Raid is just going to give them more chances just to get stronger, and it's just further out from the series, it's like, definitely... There was a lot of slow parts in this episode, like seeing, you know, a lot of comedy, a lot of bit of comedy. It's like, I noticed as well there wasn't hardly any music in the episode. I just felt like I was just watching, like, just the voices just like that here. And it's like, I don't know. I feel like I should be having OSTs right now. I should be listening to something as well from the side of it. It's just weird just to hear the voices. Like, there's nothing going on. Like, it's just quite a, like, and then as well, the episode was really, really dark. Like, um... Not as, like, you know, dark, it's like, oh, it's gory as hell, but I mean, like, dark is like, I can barely see shit, so I don't know if that was more censoring, or if that was just them just trying to get the night time perfectly right, where it's, like, pitch fucking black and you can't see jack shit, like, I don't know about that, but it's, like, definitely, it's, like, it was a fine episode, I enjoyed it, it's, like, I'm more looking forward to future content, because I do read the manga, and I know some good shit coming on along the way, but it's, like, for this one, it was like a 7, like just a 7 to a 6.5 um, out of 10. I did enjoy the episode, but it's like there's, there were some issues with it, definitely, and all that. And I thought I didn't get juicy until the ending, but it's like, let me know what you thought in the episode down below. I'm still going to be keep doing these Akami. I love my fucking Akami material, but that's all for me. I always thank you much for watching, and always remember, I'll see you guys next time. And remember, strap up.